Okay, so um, today I'm going to start my Mega Squirt build. Uh, so I've purchased a, uh, a Mega Squirt 3 um, with the expansion board. So it's an MS3X kit basically um, with the version 3.0 DIY mainboard. Uh, I bought it already assembled. Um, off someone that put it together from the from the DIY Auto Tune kit, <clears throat> and I've received it and had a look over it. I'm not really happy with the way it's been built. Um, so the first thing I need to do is check it all over. Um, but yeah, it's just it's put together pretty messy. Um, just try and get in focus there. The components aren't all flat on the board, which doesn't, I suppose, really matter, but I get a bit OCD about that sort of thing. Uh, and you can see by, by how the unit's soldered. Look at all these, some of these joints aren't soldered at all. Some of them are bridged. Uh, it's very, very messy. Not much care has been taken to put this together. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have to go all over it. I mean, you can see by this, this component here, this one's not even tied in the board. You can see at the bottom there, it's just wriggling. So yeah, I'm going to have to go right over that first. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure the right components are in the right place. Um, so I've printed out the relevant section of the build guide. And I'm going to go through it page by page, check it all out, and I'll go from there. Okay, so I'm fairly satisfied with um, the components being fitted in their positions correctly and the right ones in their positions correctly. There's a few modifications that I need to make, things that were left out. <coughs> um, I've got to remove C30 and put it in uh, H1 boot here. Um, all of the MS1 components have been installed, which I don't think matters, so I can leave them there. It doesn't have a mica insulator fitted onto um, Q16, which is a high current ignition driver, so I need to do that. <coughs> and it also has the wrong fastener there, so I need to put a, a steel one in. Um, I've got a jumper. The uh, the high current driver to the transistor over here. I've got to run the jumpers for the can high and can low. Uh, even though I won't be using can, uh, still going to put it in there for completeness. And I'm going to redo the jumpers underneath as well. They're a bit messy. And the, uh, the map sensors have just been mounted terribly. So I'm going to redo that. 
Um, other than that, pretty good. Just resold all the dodgy joints and uh, clean up all the bridges. And then it's time for to do some basic testing after that's done. So I'm going to um, carry out that soldering now. Okay, so I've just finished soldering the bottom of the board, or re-soldering it. And fixing up a few bridges and um, a few loose connections, dry joints. So I've just flipped the board over, and I'm going to check over the top and um, see if there's any any connections that I can solder from the top a little bit better to get a better connection and get a nice fillet of solder. Okay, so I'm now happy with how the uh, components are soldered in. So the next step is uh, jumper wires. So the jumper wires are for the cam uh, to power the stepper driver and the MX3X card and for the um, stepper circuit. Alright, so I'm going to do that now. Okay, so um, I've uh, got to the stage now where um, it's getting exciting, up to this part, testing stage. So um, we've done all the work on the board we can so far, all the links and jumpers and everything, and I've got the mica insulators under the power transistors that need um, isolating. Um, so now it's time to plug in the stim and um, test the board basically and see how we go from there. <laughs> 